Hello, I'm Kon Slobodchikov. I want to tell you about the ecology of prairie dogs. There are five species of prairie dogs who all live only in North America. They all live in the prairie grasslands of the central part of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The most numerous species is the black-tailed prairie dog, found in a large geographical area from southern Canada through the western Midwest and Rocky Mountain states into Texas and northern Mexico. Other species include the Gunnison's prairie dog, found in the Four Corners area, the white-tailed prairie dog, found in western Colorado and Wyoming, the Utah prairie dog, found in southwestern Utah, and the Mexican prairie dog, found in north-central Mexico. Prairie dogs live in places called towns, where they build burrows by digging into the ground. There might be anywhere from a few to thousands of prairie dogs living in a town, although in general the number of prairie dogs is decreasing rapidly. And today, we have only about 2% of the prairie dogs that we had 100 years ago. The burrows help turn and aerate the soil and also help water from rainfall to percolate into the ground table. Prairie dogs are a magnet for all kinds of other animals. All told, some 200 vertebrate species and a number of invertebrate species are found associated with prairie dog towns, either as permanent residents or as occasional visitors. Because prairie dogs selectively clip vegetation as they feed, their actions ensure that a number of different species of plants grow on the towns. This attracts other herbivores who feed on this increased plant diversity. For example, pronghorn antelope like to feed in the centers of the towns. Also, bison, who are often called American buffalo, like to feed on the outskirts of the towns. And cattle also like to feed on the plants in prairie dog towns. Although some people say that prairie dogs eat all of the grass that is intended for cattle, the scientific evidence is still unclear whether prairie dogs seriously compete with cattle for food. Both prairie dogs and cattle eat grass as well as other plants, but surprisingly few studies have evaluated whether or not prairie dog feeding can affect the weight of cattle. We do know, however, that in historical times, some 5 billion prairie dogs coexisted with perhaps 30 to 60 million bison. And although the diet of bison is similar to the diet of cattle, apparently the bison and prairie dogs got along together quite nicely without any competition. Prairie dog towns are an occasional or permanent home to a number of vertebrate species. For example, Burrowing owls nest mostly in prairie dog burrows, raising their young there. Mountain plovers nest primarily in prairie dog towns. Burrows serve as refuges for animals such as rattlesnakes, who use the burrows to escape from daytime heat. And Burrows are also used by animals such as rabbits, who hide there at night. 
Because prairie dogs live in a fixed plot of land and can be found there day after day, a number of different predators come to the towns to catch prairie dogs. Black-footed ferrets feed almost exclusively on prairie dogs, going into the burrows after the prairie dogs. Some studies have estimated that it takes about 700 to 1400 prairie dogs per year to feed a black-footed ferret family. Not surprisingly, as prairie dogs have been disappearing from the prairies, black-footed ferrets have become an extremely endangered species. Eagles will often catch prairie dogs, either snatching them up as they fly by or grabbing one and sitting on the ground and eating their prey. Red-tailed hawks like to prey on prairie dogs, particularly prey on the pups when the pups first emerge from the burrows in early June. Pups and adults are also favored prey of coyotes who hunt prairie dogs by either walking through a town and making a lunge at any prairie dog who happens to be a little way away from its burrow or lying down next to a burrow and waiting for up to an hour for an unwary prairie dog to emerge. Also, badgers like to eat prairie dogs by digging into the burrows and mostly catching prairie dogs at night when they are sleeping. All told, prairie dogs perform a number of important ecosystem services. By digging burrows, they promote nutrient flow, aeration of the soil, and percolation of water. The burrows serve as refuges for a number of different animals. By clipping vegetation, they promote increased plant diversity in their towns. And prairie dogs also fill the role of major prey in a complex food web on the prairies. In short, prairie dogs have a very important role in the prairie ecosystem of North America. If you would like to know more about prairie dog ecology, you can find out a lot more in the book Prairie Dogs, Communication and Community in an Animal Society. You can find a link to it on my website, www.konslobachikov.com.